Hey guys, tonight's Hopper Hot Take in the month of March. We're going to take, each Thursday, we're going to talk about a different Hopper Hot Take. Tonight's Hopper Hot Take is talking about postseason tournaments at the high school level. I saw a post on uh, Facebook the other day in a Facebook group. We were talking about uh, postseason tournaments, the regional, sectionals, and state tournaments at, in the state of Illinois. And why doesn't the IHSA the high school association in the state of Illinois that is responsible for high school athletics, why doesn't the IHSA mandate an athletic trainer be on site at each level of the postseason tournaments? They're not the only ones that are faltering here. But it's interesting how they require clock operators, they require the officials, they, they require programs, they require certain PA announcements, but they do not require health care for the student athlete. Why not? Why not? Well, not every school has an athletic trainer. Well, that's a good place to start. We could start by adding that. I know that costs money. I know you're going to tell me next that you can't mandate an unfunded mandate. I get it. Money's hard to come by in education. But you're going to mandate a lot of other things without cost, without, without funding it. Just not safety. That's that, nah, not important. Okay, fine. You, you don't want to mandate that every school have an athletic trainer. Fine. Okay, let's move on. Regionals are made up of, what, four to six teams? Surely somebody in there has an athletic trainer. And if not, surely they can find one in the area that can provide health care for a couple of days. For a few games. Oh, but you don't want to mandate that. Well, that would cost money. So do the officials, so do the clock operators, so does everything else. And you have no problem paying those but we don't want to pay healthcare providers. Last night I worked uh, TAPS Regional Basketball here down in Texas. There were four basketball games. There were five teams represented, I believe, I believe it was five rep teams represented amongst those four games. Every game had two athletic trainers on site, one for each team. Yes, in our district, every athletic trainer, or I mean, sorry, every school has at least one athletic trainer. In our playoffs, we have an athletic trainer there for our games because that's the right thing to do. And we find ways to make it work. And it's time that state associations use this as yet another criteria when they assign regionals, sectionals, and playoff opportunities. Just as you require a, a basketball court to have a 10-foot rim, you require it to have a clock system, a PA system, you require them to have clock operators, you require them to have administrators on site. It's time that you require a certified athletic trainer to be on site. That is tonight's Hopper Hot Take. Over the, over the month of March, you can follow along. National Athletic Training Month, month hashtag NATM 2022, and hashtag providing health care everywhere. Have a great night.